Hey folks, welcome to Wednesday the 5th of January 2022. We are day two into the full-on trading for this year. And uh, what we've seen in the overnight, uh, well, do go and check out the morning read on our website, dougancapital.com or on LinkedIn. You can find it. But what we have seen overnight, uh, not much really to speak of. Uh, Spoo's still working in a range uh, Dow hold, holding on to these new all-time highs put in yesterday. Uh, the dollar sort of down in its two-day range. Um, and oil pretty much holding on to the gains that we saw uh, yesterday. Just coming down a little bit. Um, and what else? Yeah, Europe taking a little bit of a bid this morning as well. Gold, obviously, um, you know, holding on to gains as well. Um, and I do say obviously because um, you know, we have that weaker dollar environment. Um, you know, there's been a couple of tempting, uh, tempting looking things on the euro and cable this morning, but you know, absolutely designated to the heartbreak hotel, as you can see here, um, just on the top left, for example. Myself and Rob looking at this this morning, this push or kind of holding here, um, on uh, you know, just below R1, pushed up and then just got trapped, um, and sitting out here doing nothing. You know, despite um, the sort of data that we had this morning coming out of the Eurozone, largely uh, a miss on uh, composite PMIs and services PMIs. Uh, you know, you're getting Eurozone uh, composites coming out 53 spot three below the guidance 53 spot four and below prior 55 spot four. And then services PMIs uh, for December coming out 53 spot one just below the guidance 53 spot three and prior 55 spot nine. So what... I am, have been, what I've been thinking of is poor old Jerome Powell, just when he's had to eat his hat on uh, its transitory um, and, and then come out and, and state that, uh, we are seeing a, a sort of a, a receding of these um, inflation figures, right? Just a little bit. And so, you know, what, one, one apple does, does not make an apple pie uh when it comes to these readings but um i suspect that we are going to start to see a ramp down on these inflation figures especially with the dissipation of the omicron variant uh not being um as 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 lethal as the delta for example right so anyway i'm getting off point i think inflation is going to dissipate um I think equities are going to enjoy some more all-time highs um, this week. You know, we've seen that with the Dow. Uh, we're struggling with that with the spoos. Um, well, yesterday, no, we did tack on a new all-time high. Um, NASDAQ uh, wasn't so much um, enjoying it as much yesterday. It be, namely, it was just on pure fire. Uh, you know, someone set a match to this and, and uh, poured a bit of petrol on there just to for the fun of it yesterday on the Nasdaq and you can see down about 1.7% yesterday on trade. Uh, so uh, what do I see coming in for this for this uh, trade today? Really, uh, I'd like to wait for the the non-farm ADP non-farm employment coming out there at um, quarter past one uh, and see where that sits us. I mean, look at the range that we're working on the spoos. I was talking to an Irish trader about this two days ago. Um, this range uh, really holding out on the spoos here and um, so that's 47 70 and a half on the low to the 47.98 so on the new all-time high up here so um yeah i think we can continue to consolidate here sideways in the spoos um is the market waiting for the fomc minutes tonight at seven o'clock there is no presser um I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't. I don't think there's any high expectations of anything earth shattering coming uh, in tonight's um, uh, statement. Uh, yeah, the press release. Uh, sorry, statement release. There is no presser tonight, so we won't get to see Jerome. Um, but yeah, I think we can tack on further all time highs. You've seen, on, for example, on Dow here. Um, you know, we have that prior all time high thirty six five seventy two. So that now has to be updated. And um, this prior high here, uh, 36,572 is coming in as fantastic support in the Asia back session here, um, at 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. holding for the bid. Right, so I think it's going to take a lot for us to break down on that level. And um, for the Dow, 
do have a bit of a trend here uh, for just bringing this up into a bigger view. We do have this sort of trend uh, coming into play and quite telling that the market could not close below that trend really um, at all. And, and, you know, yeah, we were on this trade 36,150s for the long, lovely trade still on side, uh, might I add, but we had this Fibonacci extension level 36,940s. I mean, look, any of these levels are targets in a market that always goes up, right? So, uh, but I do think there'll be a little more capitulation uh, at 36,940s um, than uh, an interested trade here as opposed to the R2. Um, so, this is the target for, for, for now, all for the longs down here on the lows of day for the, the Dow. Um, I haven't got too much really to add to uh, the session today uh, or add to yesterday's pre, pre US. Uh, you're seeing the Dixie holding up quite nicely just above S1. I think we'll see further upside in the Dixie for the rest of this week. Uh, and with that, you're actually going to have this euro completely breaking down. And um, through this compression area, I think we failed to hold outside of this on the tops. I think it's quite telling that we're coming back. Uh, I think pivot won't survive another test this morning. We could easily trade the S1. So uh, anyway, a catalyst for that, ADP at 115. Um, you know, that could be the time to wait for that trade. Um, all right, so I'm going to keep it short and cheerful like uh, an ass is gallop this morning. And um, yeah, oil, I think, supportive on the APAC lows here. Uh, it's not able to hold on this little area above and the 77.43s down to the 77.11. So do be mindful of that. And there's this quite a bit of, of, of resistance at 77.88s and 18, 78.18s um, up here for the market to actually trade through. But um, the market does love a challenge. But one thing I will say. All right, uh, so that is it for me. Any questions or queries, um, give me a shout in the Discord room or uh, you can reach me at tim at dougancapital.com. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, uh, please do like and click to subscribe and you'll, you'll get a bing every time uh, we go live or we uh, post one of these pre-US videos. All right, have a good session and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.